Hi everybody, this is Propeller Boy, uh, and I'm here today to um, randomly show a, a strange Easter egg for what is now becoming a very old game, Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this was a game that was revolutionary in its time because it used um, an extra chip inside the cartridge for additional processing power that allowed for all this wireframe and polygon uh, sort of graphical style, um, you know, 3D vector-based graphics. And uh, so I think there were two of them. There was Star Fox and there was a Stunt Race FX. And uh, Stunt Race FX was not a particularly well-loved game, but Star Fox has a pretty rich Nintendo history as, as a successful Nintendo franchise. And um, this game was really actually quite epic. Um, and uh, very interesting, a very interesting sort of on-the-rails shooter. And uh, it has some unusual Easter eggs, and I'm going to show what is easily the strangest one of them all right now. So this involves going on the uh, uh, the hardest path. There's three paths. The, the, the stock path is this is the, the easiest. This is uh, the medium path, and this is the hard path on the right. We're going to go this way. Um, they all start on this first level of corn area. This is the harder path of, uh, of Corneria. I've chosen Course 3, a good choice to take Venom by surprise. Good luck. So first off we get this scramble sequence. Now, that might not seem like much nowadays, of course, but that was hugely impressive back in the day. The very fact that you had, like, actual synthesized speech, you know, you were able to achieve some cinematic stuff, the, the, the perspective of, of having three, three dimensions, uh, you know, with a system that was really not capable of any real 3D. Um, it was really something. And, I mean, the... Of course, the frame rate does suffer. Oops. The frame rate does just suffer as a result of, of all the extra, uh, uh, I suppose, all the extra juice that they needed to, to, to put into this thing to pump out these these wireframe and polygon graphics. Boy, I'm terrible at this game. Um, but actually, you know, the control for this is really good. Like, it feels it feels like it's not like laser incisive as when you're flying. But oh, come on, come on, come on! No, no, no! I'm trying to save you. I'm sorry, Slippy. There we go. But the uh, the shooting controls are pretty good. The flying controls are pretty good. It's um, in spite of the fact that it's you know like 12 frames a second, and uh, it's very satisfying to play. It's a lot of fun. And again, we hadn't seen anything like this um, in the day. Now there were two games that had this uh, this chip in the cartridge. There was uh, the Super FX chip. There was Star Fox. Which of course has become on has gone on to become uh, an important um, uh, Nintendo franchise. A couple of different entries. There's a very notable one on the Nintendo 64 called Star Fox 64. There's uh, Star Fox Assault for GameCube, which I've never actually played. I don't think uh, I might pick that up on eBay and uh, uh, do a playthrough of that for you guys if you're interested. Leave some likes and comments in the. Uh, on this video, and uh, we'll see what you're all thinking. Anyway, so you've got these, uh, you've got these three wingmates. Whoops! I should have done my barrel roll faster. The whole do a barrel roll thing—that's actually uh, from this uh, franchise. That's uh, from uh, this Nintendo 64 version of the game. Come on, I want that. I want that so bad. Oh no, I missed it. This is terrible. Like, to be clear, I have honestly, I've dusted off this cartridge and I've put it in my Super NES and I hit record. I have not practiced this. I might even screw up the, uh... I might even screw up the, uh... The boss fight here, or I might, uh, not be able to get the Easter egg, so... You know, here's, here's hoping. But I just, I had this hankering to, to show you this, because it's truly one of the stranger moments in, uh, sort of the Super NES generation of gaming. This particular Easter egg. It's... I don't know if it's if it's like a, if there's like some if it's an inside joke for the programmers or something, but this is certainly very strange. 
So here's the first boss. Boss fights in this game are actually really quite, really quite good. I feel like the Super NES was home to, uh, to a lot of fantastic bosses. Like, I think that, uh, people felt like the previous 8-bit age of gaming, um, was perhaps, um, a little, uh, I'm gonna see if I can try and take this out with, uh, do it this way. This is the... Oh, come on, really? Okay, so I'm... Never mind, I'm gonna just take out the caps first. That's the, the better way to do it, I suppose. There we go. Now it's defenseless, I just fill it full of blasters. Hit bomb. Come on. So yeah, these, you know, big scale boss fights. Lots of stuff to dodge. Pretty cool. So with regards to your wingmates, they don't do a whole lot. Um, they might help you towards your ultimate, like if they're in play, they might help you towards your, uh, uh, your, ult your percentage of, of enemies cleared and thus your score. <clears throat> you have to save them every so often, they never save you. Not that I remember, anyway. Every uh, ten thousand points, you get an extra uh, an extra life. So now we're into the asteroid belt, and here is where we activate this Easter egg. It's very strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this automatically puts you in cockpit view, which is actually kind of neat. Um, now that you have a sense of what cockpit view looks like, I'm gonna get out of it. It's, uh, the thing is, there's an, an awful lot of asteroids and uh, enemy craft and things like that that, that are just it's easier to uh, avoid all that with um, when you're not in, in whoa, when you're not in cockpit view. So that's Falco, and he's been an ass. You save him, he tells you to mind your own business. So this big asteroid here that's moving slowly, I gotta kill this one over here. I'm gonna fill it full of blaster. Okay, good. And so now, I've just got to fly into this uh, bird. Come here, birdie. Come here, birdie. There we go. So this takes you to a little, uh, looks like a, almost like a supernova on the map. It is called Out of This Dimension. So I have flown totally off course into uh, this crazy thing. Now, this, I'm going to tell you, it's strange. Good luck. So you've got this goofy music. You've got like these crazy planets with faces doing all sorts of Mode 7 crap. And I'm, <laughs> uh, and I'm shooting pieces of paper that eventually, uh, the only enemies in this game until the boss are these pieces of paper that fold themselves into paper airplanes and then fly themselves into you. And that's this level, this out of this dimension level. It's very strange. And this is sort of like a, a goofy 16-bit remix of Voices of Spring. The Strauss Waltz. So, this is technically the fastest way to beat the game, because if I beat this level, um, that's the end of the game. That's one of the possible endings. So I'm just going to take care of all of these uh, paper airplanes. See if I can boost through this. This gets a little, a little weird for my taste, so I'm going to continually boost through. boost through all this. Yeah, so I shoot a whole bunch of pieces of paper. I look at the freaky stars and planets, the big smiley faces on the planets. The weirdest one is actually this guy, I think, because he's just like a... Well, the other one's like a slate, this big purple guy. This blue guy is like, I'm looking at you, man. I'm watching you. This guy here, too. Oops. So the paper's getting close. Close. 
So yeah, this is all there is to the level. And then I make it to the boss, and uh, well, you'll see what that's all about. Well, very strange. Very strange stuff. Come on, get into range. I can only aim so high. Okay, hopefully that's it. Yes, it is. Here we go. So, yeah, it's a slot machine. And it does a little dance. A little dance, a little jig. And now let's see what happens here. So the object is to get three sevens. And every time you get an Andros, it fires these missiles. Oh god. It fires these missiles at you. Uh, I'm gonna need to do better, otherwise I'm going to die. That was pretty embarrassing right there. So you basically just keep pulling until you get three sevens. Oh my god. It's not letting me keep the seven, of course. You can actually, you can save some of the, uh, the positions. Stop giving me Andros! Good God! Now, I have once gotten this on the first pull. Um, it was pretty crazy. I think other than that, the, the best that I've ever done is, like, the, the third... The third. Oh! Okay, so what was that, like the fourth? That's pretty good. So I get all of these uh, the coins, they replenish my shield, the slot machine blows up, I have defeated it with the power of luck, and then the credits start flying at me. Pretty sure they don't hurt you. So, yeah, that's it. That's the Easter Egg. The Out of This Dimension Easter Egg. Very weird. Uh, I really don't know what that is all about. There's another way through the game. If you go through to the... If you take the first or the second path, you can, um... You can get... There's a warp that exists in the, uh... In the second level. Um... And that can take you to various different, uh, it can take you right to the end of the game on the easy path, it can take you to the difficult path, it can take you to the medium path, it depends on where you decide to get out of the warp. But this is something else entirely. And uh, after all of these credits, you actually, you're, um, you're confronted with the end. The words the end, which you can, uh, they're sort of, uh, out of... Um, you'll see they're, they're, they're out of order. They're like flipped upside down and you shoot them and then, and then you can rearrange them. And it's just like a little mini game. It doesn't really do anything. Um, but that's really all there is to this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, get the end in the proper order and then I'm going to kill myself. Because really at this point there is no... Uh, while I said this is the end of the game, there's really no no end to this because it just keeps going on and, and you just can keep shooting the, the letters on the end here. Here we go. Oh, they're all out of order. Oops. Damn it. Oh jeez, I hope I'm able to do this before I die. Fun. I actually have to get it, eh? Damn it! Ugh. Well, I guess they shoot it too. Yeah! Hooray! 
Okay, so now that's all, all that's left for me to do is, uh, succumb to the void out of this dimension. Oh, come on, I can't even kill myself? Are you joking? Here we go. What?! Okay, we're getting close here. And there's the epic death sequence. So there you go, folks. That's uh, out of this dimension. A very, very strange Easter egg. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, Boomer Buddies, give me a hug. <laughs>